Good day to everyone. I'm Mad Wantamad and welcome to another video here at Madodal Channel. We are here somewhere in a hilltop in San Mateo Rizal for us to show you our four grow bed bait system. So to start the walkthrough, let's go to our fish tank over here. So this is the made 1,200 liter capacity fish tank. It has a conical bottom and it, it contains 100 red tilapias. So, the 100 red tilapias here are fed with uh, fish pellets. So, let's get some fish pellets over here. So, we have fish pellets over here. And we are going to feed our tilapia. Let's see if they will go up to feed. So, those are the t red tilapias. So, they're about uh, 30 centimeters. To 20 centimeters in length and they are uh, almost a month old so when the fish or the red tilapia feeds on the feeds they excrete waste and the waste will go to our solid lifting outlet over here so this is the solid lifting outlet then from the solid lifting outlet it will exit our filter over here so let's go to our filter over here so this is our MAID DuraFlow filter. So this is the MAID DuraFlow filter mini. We have a max size for a larger system. So this is the mini one for small system. So it has a radial flow in the center where we have a kohol or shells. So they feed on the uneaten uh, fish feed and the undigested uh, fish waste. And they help process it into further uh, process it for our bacteria and then it goes to a static media compartment on the outer ring and then from the static it goes to our radial flow stage on the outer uh, compartment and then it goes to an MBBR or a moving bed bioreactor so it's very easy to maintain our filter over here so let's go to our maintenance valve so here over here we have our maintenance valve so this air air valve uh, provides air on the outer part of our MBBR so we turn this off during maintenance so the MBBR stops bubbling and then we divert our air to our static media compartment over here so the static media compartment now starts to bubble the media is still new and there's still little uh, sludge in the system so it's still white the media will start to bubble and then when it starts to bubble it starts to self clean the inner part and then we shut off we let it bubble for about 30 minutes and then we shut it off and then turn turn the MBBR on and then we open our drain valve at the bottom so let's open it for uh, a sample cleaning and then shut it off so that's how easy to maintain our filter and then from the filter the flow exits to a standpipe over here and goes to our floating raft so this is our floating raft it has net pots pumice and a seedling zoom in on the seedling so that's a three day old old uh, lettuce seedling and it's submerged on water and from this floating raft, it exits to another floating raft over here. And then we also have a hundred lettuce seedlings here. And then it exits to a pump from a floating raft over here, which doubles as our sump. So this floating raft contains our pump. So let's zoom in on the pump. So it's a very, very small uh, submersible pump. There you go. So the pump is 55 watts. So that's a very low consumption pump. And then it pumps water to our gravel bed over here. So let's go to our gravel bed over here. So the gravel bed has an inlet here and an exit over here. So the exit is a bell siphon which controls the flooding and draining of this gravel bed. So we have newly, newly transplanted uh, basil. So it's still 
wilted due to transplant shock but after a a day or three uh, it, it will now it, it will recover and grow in the gravel so here is the bell siphon we have a bell our bell over here and the standpipe in the middle so the standpipe controls the level of the water in the bell siphon it aids in the flooding and draining of our gravel bed and then the gravel bed will exit our floating raft or our sump over here so this is the exit of our sump and then from from the sump water also is diverted to our fish tank over here so this is the inlet the inlet is controlled by by a, a valve on the outside so we can control the inlet or the water flow through the valve and then the cycle continues so the continues to the fish tank so the fish tank also has air stones which provides dissolved oxygen for our fish so to give you an overview the fish tank flows to the filter the filter flows to the 3 dwc or deep water culture and then it now flows to our sump then the sump delivers water to our gravel bed and back to our fish tank so if you haven't subscribed yet uh, please subscribe to the channel madodal and if you want to be notified on our future videos just click on the notification bell and don't forget to like share and subscribe so thank you very much for watching